preachers when they say a few more. <laughs> Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26, and I'm going to uh, read just a few verses. I choose to. Hallelujah. Starting at verse 19, and I'm just going to read a few verses and go and go down the line. It's called sometimes when you do that expository verse by verse. Uh -huh. I, I am so enthralled looking in the book of Acts. I'm taking a, we grew up with, uh, you know, studying, but I, I, I'm looking at it again. As I look again in the whole book of Acts, it, it really is one of the great, great New Testament books because it really tells us who we are. Mm -hmm. Acts tells us the church. Yes. It's the body of Christ. It tells us how God birthed the church yes. and what happened and what they had to deal with. That's why it's a wonderful book. We, we have no excuses today because they didn't have money. They didn't have any kind of technology. But the, the, the power of God was manifested. And God was able to take his church. Now think about it. Because on the day of Pentecost, when the 120 got filled with the Holy Ghost, and then 3,000 were added, they were the only ones on the earth at that time that had the Holy Ghost. They were indeed a minority. They were indeed a minority. But yet God took those, amen, little number of people, amen, and he did what he said he was going to do. That after that the Holy Ghost comes, you will have power. Yes. Not power to dance, no. but power to be witnesses yes. unto me. Because everybody dancing now. Yes. You go to every denomination, every affiliation, they do the same. You can't tell when you go to any kind of other reformation. You can't tell who saved or not. They got the same music. Amen. They jump and shout and do the same thing. But after the Holy Ghost comes, you're going to have power, dunamis power to be, to be, to be witnesses under me. Not unto a denomination or an organization, but unto me. Unto me. That was what he said and that happened. Amen. And uh, he said, the Holy Ghost is going to come. You're going to be witness unto me in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, yes. and the uttermost parts of the earth. Come on now. He sent them out in Matthew 28. Told them, this is what you're going to do. Hallelujah. You're going to preach the gospel. You're yeah. going to baptize them. Mm -hmm. You're going to make disciples out of them. Mm -hmm. And I've been sharing with our church. I said, that's one of the aspects that are missing today when I was coming up even though we might not have had that understanding about a discipleship the way that we grew up in church the the, the, the protocol that we had it, it, it made us easy to be disciples amen because we were in church all the time and we were following what was put before us you didn't know how to pray, but you came to the prayer meeting and listening after enough, you learned how to pray. Yes. You definitely weren't going to pray if you stayed home. Oh. Yeah. We learned how to pray by listening to the older ones pray. Got on our knees.